so to start with the weight, um, great victory at the weekend. What pleased you most about the performance? Obviously, the I think the way that we the, the players handled and managed the game um, thought restricted them to to very little. Um, knew it was going to be tight. Knew it was going to be scrappy. Most pleasing thing was that the players never got never got fidgety or nervous. Kept doing the things that that we talked about. Um, I think which showed belief in themselves and and belief in what they're being asked to do. So probably that. And a, a clean sheet never goes amiss as well, does it? Yeah, defended defended really well. Um, Obviously, the back, the back five or back six, but collectively back to front, um, good shape, compact, difficult to play against. Uh, so, if you're if you're defending well as a team, then you're going to give yourself chances a chance in games. It surprised you as to how, how comfortable it was in the end. Um, I don't know. You must have you obviously must have felt more comfortable where you were than. Than where I was, uh, I thought we managed. I thought we, I thought the players were really calm. I thought they managed the game well. With focus, was switched on, and I mean, you might have been calm. It's difficult for me because you know I'm, I know that you only need a deflection or we had it a little bit in the Walsall game. We were totally dominant against Walsall, and then they scored a goal out of nothing, really. And last last five six minutes, they've thrown the goalkeeper up, and it's it's kitchen sink time. So you're never you're never totally comfortable. I'm not anyway. Obviously, um, we focus on the positives, but one of the one of the big clouds hanging over you now after that was was Alfie May. How's he doing? Uh, it will scan Alfie today, and then we'll see where he is from there. So. Uh, we should know. We should know tonight or tomorrow. Okay, so touch and go. He's muted himself again. I don't know why he keeps doing that. Apologies for that. Um, but obviously, so obviously, touch and go for tomorrow night. Yeah, yeah. We should know a little bit more after the scan. So it just depends how quickly we can get that back. Okay, let's focus on uh, uh, Bolton. What do you make of them? Uh, they've had a really good start. Um, Obviously, we know them quite well from, we've been butting heads with them over the past couple of years. So we know them, we know them fairly well. They know, they will know us fairly well. We've had good games with them in the past, good footballing team. Uh, what they have got is they've got really good options at the top end of the pitch. So lots of variety in their centre forward and their attacking players. Uh, so they've got a... They've got a structure and a way of playing, but they can tweak it depending on the personnel that they, they select up top. And with a, a team of that stature, it's what you in league want to play, isn't it really? That's the kind of what the, the challenge you want to put yourself up against. Yeah, it should be a good, generally Tuesday nights, uh, good atmospheres at Wadham Road and it'll be a big club coming, coming to our place. So no, it should be off. Off the back of some decent home form ourselves, so it should be should be a decent occasion. It's often difficult with clubs going Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. But when you come off a good win like you did at the weekend, you probably quite welcome the chance to go again, don't you? I think players just want to play football. So we had a we had a ten day break between games uh, before the Shrewsbury game, and you give the players a couple of days off, and I think by the by the second day they've. They've been dragged around the shops. Uh, I think they're just desperate to get in and play football. So I think if you ask any player, I think they, they want to play football games. So the more Saturday, Tuesdays, the better for them. Oh, wait. Um, All right, John. <clears throat> obviously, not good what happened to Alfie at the end, but up until the injury, he, he really looked back at his best, didn't he? How pleased are you with the reaction you got from him after giving him that rest? With his performance, oh, I think Even he looked. It didn't end how he wanted it. Sorry, say that again. That last bit again, please, John. How pleased were you with his performance up until obviously it not ending how you wanted it to? 
I don't know, I thought he was really bright. Uh, probably what I said to him afterwards, what typified it for me was really early on when he's nicked it off Flanagan's toe. And that is, when you have an image of Alfie, that is, that is him. He's buzzing around, he's bright and he's sharp. And he, he I think he, you saw that in his performance and obviously probably summed up for the gold as well. It was good awareness. He was a half second ahead of other people on the pitch. Great run, great finish. Have you got um, any theories? Has the medical team got any theories what it could be? Or is, is this scan to rule out serious damage or is it more to see how bad the damage is? No, I think the scan is to assess, to see what's under there. There's a little bit of swelling at the minute and I wouldn't. I wouldn't like to speculate on what it is or isn't, and I'm, obviously I'm not in a, I'm not qualified or in a position to do that. Elliot Bonds, we spoke about him after Saturday coming through ninety. Is he is he seen fine this morning? Yeah, we've got their, we've got their wellness scores. Um, there's a few, couple of aches, nothing out of the norm for a, for a Monday, but. Uh, Bonzi's Bonzi scores are all okay. I've not seen him yet this morning, but his scores are all, he's reported are all fine. And I can only reiterate what I said to you after the game, really, that it's a credit to, it's a credit to the medical staff, but it's a credit to him as well, that he's managed to keep himself in that condition that he was able to come back after five weeks off and perform in the manner that he did. And it's, you drum that message into people all the time. There are people that I can only pick 11, but I keep telling the players that everybody's going to be needed. We've got a lot of games this month. Uh, and if you're an individual that's been out of the team, you don't know when your opportunity is going to come around. So when it does, you have to make sure that you've trained right, you've lived right. So you give yourself the best, the best chance to perform in the manner that Bonzi did, because difficult as it is that's I think that's when it you show you see people's people's character and do they have that grit and determination to keep doing the keep doing the difficult things when there's a little bit of adversity for them how was your wellness score this morning did you have to do one or? no mine was all right <laughs> <Mine's just> always... <laughs> yeah I'm not the important one <laughs>